For this video, I'm going to be giving you a deck template to complete a very specific quest. So when you start the game, you get a number of quests throughout the tutorial, but as a new player, you also get access to some very important quests that give you mythic and rare wild cards. And one of them is called One of Nine Lives, and it says you have to win with one life. Now you could just wait for this to happen naturally, but this is a mythic wild card. You want to get this. You want to spend that mythic wild card. So uh, I have created what I believe is a great deck template as a new player for completing this mission. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the deck here real quick. I will also put a copy of the deck list in the video description. Uh, if you are not aware, you can also import this deck list. I've got another video on my channel that will show you how to do that as well. But this, this here is the deck, and I think this is very budget friendly because it is all commons and uncommons. This is blue-red, and it's entirely based around a lot of ways to deal, uh, you know, one damage here or there to both the opponent, but also to yourself so that you can make sure you get to that one health and then just win. So cards like Ignition deals damage to anyone. You can use that on yourself if you need to. Fire Eater, same concept. Deal it to your opponent, deal it to their creatures to get things under control, or deal it to yourself to get you down to that one health. Also running a full suite of Reckless Vulcanist and uh, Orpheum of Horrors, etc, etc. So um, this is just kind of like a quick aggressive deck that also has a lot of ways to just deal a little bit of damage. And with that in mind, we're going to go play against the AI in Brawl. So we're going to go pick PvE Constructed jump into uh, this particular you know, scenario to try to pull this off. Now, I will say there's a couple of AI decks that I do not think this will work against. If you're a new player and you get paired against, um, I think one's called Feated Plague, where uh, it's essentially like a blue-yellow control deck and all the AI does is gain health, like forever. Don't even try it. Even if you can pull this quest off against that uh, AI, you don't want to invest the time to do so. It will take you way too long. But for the most part against most opponents, doing uh, something like this is fine. We're going to start with the Valkyrie there. We basically play this like red aggro and then transition to some of the pings when they get low uh, to also start pinging ourselves. So Ignition again, great pickup here. Um, we're going to go ahead and get rid of uh, one of these Iron Bellies. Play the Trapeze. Whack our opponent. And then at some point here, we'll try to get this Fire Eater up and running to start dealing with uh, opposing minions, maybe pinging ourselves, etc., etc. But for now, we're just going to focus on getting our opponent relatively low. Um, I think in this instance what we really want to do is get rid of this so that our Iron Belly can trade with that. Because again, we, we want to keep their board controlled. The AI uh, in this game, traditionally not very bright. They'll continue burning cards well past when they probably should stop. So keeping their stuff off the board means that you're going to chew through their resources. They're also, if they're running Smite, for example, uh, they're kind enough to keep using it on you, and you're fine with that, traditionally. You want you want them to kind of whittle you away a bit. Another Fire Eater, that's a great pickup, so we're going to get rid of this Brainstorm here. We're going to take the damage that we can. We're going to play this Fire Eater. Now, these are utility actions, so make sure you're using these right away. And uh, we want to get at least one there because we're going to move this over. So that we have uh, an option with the uh, the lurker thing to protect ourselves. And then we're going to deal uh, one to our opponent for now. Or at least try to. I didn't click enough on the avatar there. My apologies. And then once winter shows up like this, uh, we'll be in a hopefully a good spot because these will deal bonus damage due to the fragile. So we can clear clear some of this up. Yeah, we get full trades. So we can go ahead and 
take care of that. And then this is also going to be just a, a fine trade here. We're going to go ahead and put some damage on this as well. Because then that means if this ever uh, bites it, that will clear that out of the way. But we want to, again, kind of get them low. And I think pass the turn for now. We want to hold on to the ignitions because, again, uh, you can use these on your opponent, but using them on yourself because it can target anyone means uh, even more ways to get yourself to that one life before securing the victory. All right, so this is a great time for us, for example, to uh, actually start pinging ourselves. We're gonna ping ourselves just a little bit here, get ourselves down to ten, play the Vulcanist for this trade, and then uh, also zap our opponent with the old smite, and then just pass the turn. So they they smite us, and again we're we're just gonna kind of play this back and forth. We're going to transition back to hitting our opponent. Well, okay, maybe not. We might actually just deal with this right now. Uh, we're going to start by taking the trade. Because this has fragile, so it's going to take the two damage. Fragile. So this is a big boy. We don't, we don't want that to stick around. Fragile. And then at least one ignition is going to go towards that. And that will clean that up. And then we'll go ahead and... Just hit him with the smite, kind of keep things moving. Save the enforcer for uh, defensive purposes. This is, uh, again, kind of exactly where you want to be, right? Like you're going down to five, there is six. This is not what you wanted to see, but again, this is also why we kept the enforcer because uh, you can move. You can still deal damage with these because it is a utility action. So we can go ahead and just get them that much closer. And we can take the bounce here. Hit We're also just going to go ahead and get rid of this brainstorm and set up the uh, the Frecky. I'll ride ahead. To put us hopefully in a position where we can uh, just win this next turn while also being at one health. Because uh, with them smiting us, ignition to ourselves gets us very neatly, very nicely to exactly one. And that will that will do it with the swift. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and swift our way over here. We're going to deal two damage. So this attacking will get it done. But we need to be at one health. So uh, we're going to go ahead and ignition ourselves. We could have also done the pings with the fire eaters. But there you have it. We are at one life. We have beaten our opponent. We're gonna get the old you win. But most importantly, within our rewards as we unlock all these things, we're gonna see some quest progress, including one of nine lives completed. There you have it. Again, this is a deck, all commons and uncommons, so it's very budget friendly. So if you're a new player and you wanna get this mythic wild card, you have this quest. Uh, this is an easy way to do it. Hopefully this video helped you. If you made it this far, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in future videos.